Gothos Tower, home of the terrible, terrifying Lord Von Blute. Overworlders, beware! Careful, Kaz. Easy does it, dude. There. Perfect. I don't know, bro. It's still missing something. Oh, I got it! Be right back. Well, Sarah, how do you like it? Not bad. But I still think you should have built Mount Pillar. Yeah! Ow! Now for the finishing touch. What are you doing? <laughs> Making a moat! Uh, I hate to break the news to you, Peyton, but Gothos Tower doesn't have a moat. It does now! <gasps> hey, guys! I'm gonna check out that island. Wanna come with me? Awesome idea, Major T! Come on, Sarah! <laughs> uh, uh. Say it. Don't spray it. Ugh. I'm gonna stay here. Oh, come on, Kaz. You can make sandcastles anytime. Yeah, dude. We'll fix it later. Don't be such a wimp, Kaz. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll go. <laughs> Last one in's a rotten neck, dude. It's a lot further than it looks. I wonder how deep it is here. I'll check it out. Yo, that water's deeper than a Zen master. Couldn't see the bottom at all. Okay, guys, let's keep going. I'm getting cramps. That figures. What? Nothing. Hey, check this out. I knew this was gonna be awesome. What's the big deal about a washed up old boat? Where there's a boat, there's boaters. Maybe creatures. I say we do some exploring. Do what you want. I'm staying here. Yeah, think I'll chill for a while too, Tommy. <laughs> Call if you find anything interesting. Let's go see if Indiana Jones is okay. <laughs> Help! Tom! 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 Help! <laughs> okay, grab the vine and we'll pull you up. I don't think I can! <laughs> we got ya! Can you climb out? <laughs> yeah, just don't let go! Whoa, this 
trap is like ancient. Whoever lived here obviously didn't like visitors. Let's take the hint and swim back. Huh? huh? What was that? Probably some amazing creature we can scan. Let's take a look. We can pour it out if we can. Uh, we didn't bring our scanners over here. Yeah, right. <gasps> well, whatever it is, it's better if we get it before it gets us. Come on. What a great choice. Huh? Amazing creature, Tom. Too bad we don't have our scanners. Okay, okay, I was wrong. But somebody built that trap. Maybe they did. Whoa! What the heptad happened here? Peyton? A desert island? Picks? Shovels? It's obvious! Landscapers! Pirates! And where there's pirates and shovels, there's buried treasure! Let's dig in! It looks like they were... afraid of something. <laughs> uh, maybe you're the one who's afraid. Look at these guys. They definitely didn't expect to end up like this. Maybe we should leave whatever it is buried. Sorry, Cassie. Buried treasures meant to be unburied. Yo ho ho! A chest full of mugics! Great, but we can't use it in Chaotic unless we scan them. So we go get our scanners and come back. What? I can't make that swim again. Okay. If we can't bring the scanners to the music, let's bring the music to the scanners. We'll be back on our beach in no time. Oh, I think I'm getting seasick. I've never seen a music this close up. See the markings on the inside? That's how the creatures know what they do. Yeah, I know. They're all overworld mugics. Ugh, can't wait to scan them. Underworld? I've seen you two before at Lake Telepo. <laughs> you came to Mesmar's aid when I attacked him. Uh, was that me? What are you hiding? Hiding? Uh, nothing. It's just uh, my shell collection. Yeah, a box of shells. Beauty. Nothing but shells. <laughs> Overworld music! <laughs> now they belong to the underworld! This is Sarah, Kaz, and Peyton. Big fan of your work. We came over from Chaotic, and while we were hanging out on the beach, I saw that island. We decided to swim over and... You visited Corbeck Island? No creature has set foot there in over a thousand Solons. 
<gasps> around 500 years. Why not? The legend says the island is cursed. I knew it. What did you find there? Well, there was a trap. Three pirate skeletons? And a treasure chest. We dug it up and it was full of... Mugix? Uh, how'd you know that? Then the legend is true. <sighs> you left the Mugix on the island? No. We wanted to scan him. We were taking the chest back to our beach when Nothalax showed up and tried to steal it. The chest sank when the boat was destroyed. If Nothalax retrieves those Mugix, he'll take them to the Underworlders. We must stop him. This modulates the engine. Speed is measured in Numa, indicated on this gauge. Keep our course steady. This is way cooler than Driver's Ed. No sign of the creature from the Ugly Lagoon. No wonder. Nothalax knows many secrets of the Overworld Oceans, including the underwater tunnels that lead to the Underworld. That's why I've been traveling here in the Nemesis. I've been searching those tunnels, looking for him. You seem anxious, my friend. Me? Anxious? Huh. What's there to be anxious about? Oh, maybe the cursed island we were all on? Kaz, take it easy. I think I've been a bit too mysterious. Let me tell you the legend of Corbeck's curse. There was once a fearsome pirate captain named Corbeck who plundered ships in this part of the Nemean Sea. Corbeck and his crew were notorious for their greed and ruthlessness. But one day, Corbeck's greed got the better of him. According to the legend, his pirates attacked an overworld ship carrying Mugix to a nearby fortress being attacked by underworlders. The pirates stole the chest of Mugix and left their victim ship a flaming hulk. They sailed to a small uncharted island to hide their loot. Corbeck, his first mate, and his helmsman went ashore to bury the chest and set some traps. Wait! One last eye fill so I can see them in my dreams! Pirates back on the ship heard their screams and were too afraid to go onto the island. They weighed anchor and left. They sailed off, never to return. The legend of Corbeck's Island spread throughout Perim. That's why no one has ever again dared set foot on that island. Until now. What's that? Northalax. He's at 15 Ra's, moving fast. Which way's that? There he is! And he's got the chest of Mugix! <laughs> We're losing him! Stand by to fire! Fire! Before. Look at those plants growing at the mouth of the one on the right. 
The water coming out of that must be warmer. Maybe... The Underworld. Good thinking, friend. Present speed. We can't keep up with them after that rust toxic attack. What do we do now? Go fishing. <laughs> We got him! Full stop. Now to finish this. Torpedoes? Tom, now! Yeah. Great shot, Tom. Way to go, bro. <laughs> Don't celebrate yet. Whoa. Where'd he go? Maybe he's given up? Had enough adventure for today. This music is called the Song of Stasis. It throws your enemy into a state of paralysis, which can last a very long time. Eventually, one of the Underworlders will find Nothalax and revive him. But at least he won't be traveling to the overworld for a while. Oh, guys, I bet I know what really happened to Corbeck. The pirates probably got greedy while they were burying the treasure. 
Each of them must have wanted the Song of Stasis Mugics for himself. Maybe each of them stole a Mugic from the chest while the others weren't looking. I bet Korbeck figured he'd paralyze the others, maybe even his whole crew, and have the Mugics all to himself. But the others probably had the same idea. Maybe the real curse was their greed. I don't know about the details, Kaz, but I think you got the bare bones right. Well, we had an awesome adventure, we all got a cool Mugic scan, and the day's not even over yet. Do not disturb. There's not much sun left. But we still have tons of sand. Olmar's castle? How about Ravenna Ridge? Let's do it! Hey, guys. See that island way out there? It's kind of funky looking. You know, if we built a raft... Are you kidding me? Uh, no, 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 no. Hey, hold on! 